will love you to hear what I am saying. Though there has been war from the east, Middle East to the west, and though one have fought the other, I will now take the generation that despises the hatred, the malice, and the evil of the gods that have no resurrected power. And I will join a sound. And they will begin to they'll begin to sing the songs of the Lord, just like they did when David was taken. God said, those that went to Babylon, the Babylonians said to them, sing us one of the songs of Zion. And they said they laid their harps on the willows, for they could not sing the Lord's song in a foreign land. God said, no more. I will cause my song to be sung in a foreign land, says the Lord. And Babylon shall hear the sound of the song.
But listen, remember the cloud that has come. But I will walk into that house that you call light. And I will prove myself in a way that you have never seen. Shaking both in charge to the core. There will be a change within those four years. And that change will be a sign to my people. Your time of refreshing and your time of restoration has come. There is a spirit of boldness that's coming. I speak by the spirit now. A boldness that is coming. It has been sporadic. It has been occasional. Occasional events must now change to daily events. The spirit of boldness that is coming will make you take steps you've never taken before. Though you face danger with your boldness, under the direction of the spirit of grace, you shall see your future in a glimpse. For the spirit has been willing, but the flesh has been weak. Therefore, the disillusionment, disenchantment, not to speak. God said, you are to open your mouth. This is the time and the season. And I will speak to you in direct terms, for I trust you. If I come to this, this past, I didn't want to go into a past, I think it's more than a past, it's not so much more. To your church, I say this every time. The celebration of the people that you give me, the boldness to do what we do, which we could not do in a lot of places, allows God to say things that are mysterious to some and will always remain in a parable. But no, not to some others. He will speak boldly. Moses knew the ways of God. Israel knew the works of God. Some people only recognize God when He works. Others know His ways. I know the way He works. And this does look just like Him. Those that are controlled by works say, he, he's never done that before. Why would he bring water from a rock? Why would he provide our tax money through a fish mouth? But that's the way he is because I know his ways. God said, I'm looking for people that know my ways, not my works. That recognize me that there are no works. This is what he said. Do not be disheartened at the election shall be. Many of you. So whether it's a man, no, it's not a man. It's not a woman. God said in the term starting, God spoke about death. Now I have to be careful how I word this. This is a spiritual matter. But there shall be a swift change in the next four years. Even though elections took place, People were voted in. God said, do not be disheartened. For when this takes place, people will begin to shake and they will get fearful. And then my people shall be needed. And the voice of the prophets will invade every department, every department of government. How is this? We want a Christian as a president. God said, fool you. What you want is righteousness within the system. And I'm sending apostles and prophets into the system, says the Lord. Therefore, do not fear when death strikes for resurrection comes straight after that, says the Lord of hosts. Come on!
Out of the caves you come. Out of the den you are commanded to come. Out of the furnace, come. Come. For the Spirit of God said, Enough is enough. My people have fallen into fear. But today, fear and intimidation have received a severe blow. And God said, The prophet holds by its neck and strangles the force of witchcraft intimidation I choke you you have no power over this house over these people over this nation over our families 